Hey, Hattie Boots. Today I'll be filming a tutorial on a Valentine's Day makeup look. To start off, my eyebrows are already done. Fleek, fleek. I'll be listing the products I use for my eyebrows in the description box. And now it's time to prime your eyelids. To prime my eyelids and conceal my eyebrows, I use Maybelline Fit Me in the color 330 Toffee. This is what it looks like. And then this is the brush I'll be using to prime my eyelids. So just... And then I'll be using my sponge to blend this out. This is what your eyelash look like at this point. The eyeshadow palette that I'll be using is Yes Please by ColourPop. This is what it looks like. And the first color I'll be using is this red color right here called Butter Cake on My Lid. And this is the brush I'll be using to apply it to my lid. Just pack it on till you get it the color you want it to be. This is what your eyelid should look like at this point. Next, I'll be packing on this gold color right here called Spoiled in the Inner Crease using the other side of the same brush. Just have to layer it on until you get it to how you want it to. This is what it should look like now. You just keep packing it on so you sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And then taking that same red color you just used earlier, take this brush and just blend it in the crease. So just blend it out. So start on the outer crease, outer corner, and just blend that out. And then just bring it forward. And just blend. And then this is what your eye should look like. That's like super easy. This is what your eye should look like once you're done. I'll be going on with the next eye, doing the same exact thing. I ended up doing my left eye off camera because I ended up getting an eyelash in my eye and it made it difficult to do my eyeshadow. But this should be the finished look for the eyes. It's super easy, you just need two colors. You just pack on the colors till you get the look that you want. Once you're done with your eyes, you can use a Q-tip to get rid of any excess glitter. Since my face is already moisturized, now it's time for concealer. The concealer I'll be using is Maybelline New York Dream Illuminator Corrector in the color 40. And this is what it looks like. And I'll just be putting it underneath my eyes. Then blend it out with the sponge. Making sure to avoid eyebrows and eyeshadow. And then now it's time for foundation. The foundation I'll be using is CoverGirl True Blend in the color D2, and this is what it looks like. I 
At this point, you'll be going back in with the concealer and doing your eyes, nose, forehead, and chin. To set this concealer, I'll be using Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in the color 16H. And this is what it looks like. And I'll be using the sponge that comes with it to put it on. And just press it in real good. Now it's time to contour. I'll be using this brown color right here, don't mind it. And the side edge of this brush. I'll start off with my cheeks. Forehead. Sideburns. Chin. And just keep going to get the desired look that you want. And this is what your face should look like at this point. It's a little bit ashy, but everything is about to come together. So now using the front facing part of the brush, brush off the highlight. This is what your face should look like now. And now it's time for blush. I'll be using these two colors. I'll be using these two colors right here as my blush. And to put on my blush, I use this edge of the Beauty Blender. So I'll be starting off with the lighter shade. Just do my cheeks like this. Make sure not to get it in your highlight, but get it above your contour. This blush helps to soften up your look and because it's Valentine's, and because it's Valentine's Day, adding the pink blush just really sets the tone. And I'll be going in with this darker shade. And then if you add too much or if you want to blend out more, just use the other edge that you didn't use so right here. This is what your blush should look like. And then for highlighter, I'll be using my NYX Born to Glow kit, and this is what it looks like. And I'll be using a mixture of the bottom two colors. So to so to put on my to put on my highlighter, I'll be using this brush. And I'll start off with the pink one and just highlight a little bit. Making sure not to get it in my, where I highlighted my eyes, just bring it around. And you can bring it up, avoiding your eyebrows. And keep going to your heart desires.
And I'll be using the darker one on the nose. The lip. I almost forgot to contour my nose. So let me go back in. I'll be using the same brown color I used to contour the rest of my face and this brush. And just Okay, now go back in with your highlighter and continue to highlight your face. I'll be putting the brown one on top of the pink just to add a little bit of color. If you don't have to, you just bring it on around. You just pack on the highlighter so you like what you like. And then for the lips, I'll just be using the edge that has the foundation just to blend it out a little bit more. So it's not super prominent. Check the nose a little bit. So now it's time for lips. I'll be using some chapstick first. A brown lip liner. This is what it looks like. My Revlon, my Revlon lip gloss in the color Rosy Feature. This is what it looks like. To finish off this look, I'll be using my NYX Matte Finish Spray and just spray to your heart desire. You just fan off your face. And you're done. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is what my face looks like in natural lighting. The highlights on fleek. Don't blind nobody, okay?